My name is Chris, and I'm here to help you stay connected. In this video, we're going to learn how you can program a VoIP-enabled phone to work with your asterisk-based system. So let's take a look. While there are many phones on the market that are SIP-enabled, which work for VoIP systems such as Asterix, the ones I'm partial, partial to myself are the Cisco brand of the SPA phones. Cisco's SPA series has a number of different models, ranging from the 504, which is what you see here, four-line display. There's a 508, which of course has eight-line display. The 525, which has a color screen, a lot more features, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth built into it. Great if you're trying to set up a phone in an area where you don't have a network drop. As well as the 300 series, which is a little bit different. The 300 series only has three lines, does not have PoE, but the 301 is also a much more basic phone. Great if you want to do really fast deployments. When you're first testing your Asterix system, it's great to start off with just either just a single phone or even a soft phone. Soft phone being software just on your computer, which you can use to make phone calls. If you only have one phone and you want to do testing, many of the phones that have multiple lines also have multiple SIP registrations, meaning each line can have its own unique SIP registration. So for example, extension 1 can call extension 4, or 2 can call 3, or however you want to set it up. So if you just want to set up a system just for trying out to see if this is the right way to go, pick up a single phone like this and get going. So let's show you how we can do this now. We're going to start using the free PBX system here. To start, we're going to go down to our extensions and we're going to choose our test extension that we've been working with. As you can see here, we're extension 250, 250. Now you're going to want to scroll down to where you see the secret. Now you see this really long password? We're going to need this in a minute. So next, we're going to go over to the configuration display. Now this is the configuration for the SPA 504 we mentioned earlier. Now you're going to want to go into the admin section. And if you click on this and it goes through, then you know your phone's unlocked. You also want to go into advanced. Now, this one already has a few extensions on it, so we're going to use extension 4 as our configuration. So here, we're going to just make sure this line is enabled. NAT, we're going to put it to no, as well as the NAT mapping, just because we're already in our own network, so we don't need that. If we're doing something outside externally, you might want to have that on. Now here you see the SIP port. Now we have 5063. This typical SIP port is 5060, but anything in the range of 5060 to 5080s will work just fine. Now we have our proxy. This is where we're pointing our phone to connect to, so we're just going to enter in the IP address of our test server. Then we're going to scroll down. Now in here we're going to put the display name. This is what appears on our actual phone display. Extension the user ID 250. And the password. So now we go over to the free PBX screen. And we're going to copy and paste that really long password in there. Now you'll see the um, G711. That's the codec that we use. This is uncompressed and I like to do it this way. We're going to hit submit, and now you'll see a screen pop up saying it's going to reboot the phone. It's going to take about 35 seconds. We're just going to speed up the process here a little bit to make it a little bit faster than 35 seconds. And as we see, our website is starting to reload. That means the phone has rebooted. And there's our main screen. We're just going to scroll down a little bit until we see extension 4, which is what we were using on the phone. And you see it is listed as registered. So now that connection that we made is now connecting to our system. Now as I said, you can have multiple registrations on the phone. So now that we've actually got our phones programmed for the right extension, now we need to make sure that we're telling the phone what line we're going to be adding that extension to. So let's take a look. So back in our display here, we're going to click on Phones, and we're going to scroll down. Now you see the actual line numbers. This is different than the extensions. The extensions is what we put our registrations in. The lines are what are correspond to the lights on the screen. So you see right now, so this is line 1. We're going to switch that to line 4, which is extension 4. Now while we're in here, we're going to get a couple quick changes here. So going to Regional, we're going to scroll down to the very bottom. 
and then you see the time zone you're in. Just make those little changes there, put the appropriate time zone. Now daylight savings time, people are always complaining about their phone time being wrong, so for daylight savings time, you can enter in this code here, make sure you click on yes for the daylight savings time. And now one more thing since we're worried about time, going over here, we're going to click on the, in the system under the NTP time servers. And there's a primary and a secondary. I always put both of them in. That way it automatically gets the time I need. Now you notice we've gone through all of this. Haven't hit submit change yet. We've actually gone through multiple tabs. As long as you hit the tabs and you don't hit submit change, you can make changes on multiple screens. Now we're just going to speed up time again as we wait our 35 seconds for it to reboot. And now we see we're putting back up. We're going to scroll down again just to make sure. So extension 4 and we are in the registered state. So now our phone is good to go and start making phone calls. Now that we've got the extensions on the right lines, let's show you how this works. If I dial my test extension, 250, hit dial, you'll see line 4 is now flashing red. You really can't hear the ringing because I've got it on the speaker, but it is going through. <clears throat> so if I were to answer this one, I'd be able to talk to myself. Now that's not exactly the best demonstration, so let's try something like this. Using 250, I dial this other extension, and here we go, it's coming through my phone. Hello, testing one, testing one, two, three. There we go. And that's how we have a soft phone running on a cell phone connected to a hard phone on your home network. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned a little something about how Asterix and VoIP and phones can be programmed and set up to work for your system. If there's something you want to see, let me know. Comment section's right down there. Let me know what you want to see, whether it be a review of something, whether it be a how-to video, let me know. Maybe I can help. Don't forget, also, over here, has a subscribe button. Click on that and watch some more of the videos that are coming from me. There's a couple of right now and there's plenty more to come, so keep an eye out. Let's connect. I also want to say thank you to some of the viewers who've been writing in, telling me how much they enjoy these videos and how much they want to learn more. This video was made specifically because people have been asking for stuff like this. So, please, let me know. What do you want to see? Ooh, echo, echo, echo. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello.